so we're introducing the QSB wave, a younger you. So starting off, we're going to get all on the same page uh, and getting on the same page. If this, if this is what you think we are as human beings, uh, then this is not going to make an awful lot of sense. We need to move beyond the, the paradigm of, of looking at the body in, is, as a, a basically a, a walking lump of meat uh, and look more towards the, uh, an energetic perspective, that we are energetic systems swimming in an, an energetic sea. Uh, we're in a sea of, sea of energy. So you need at least to have an open mind uh, to, the, to this idea, though otherwise you might find this a little bit difficult to understand. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are on that page. From the quantum physics perspective, there is only three different um, things in the universe, and that is consciousness, that is the being, that is us uh, and our creator, there is energy and there is information in the form of frequency. And if, if you bring everything down to its fundamental level, that's all that you get left with. So I'm going to hand over to, to Margie now to, to, to talk a little bit about uh, our health. So a lot of you are going to uh, know already what we're going to go through now, but what I'm going to go through now, but... Um, yeah just bear with me and it'll make us all be on the same page so what makes us ill oh i'm supposed to let david know when i want the congenital conditions genetics stress now this includes toxins emf relationships work money lifestyle just about everything today is stressful um so stress is a big one there poor nutrition again uh the way that food is being grown and the way that we it's marketed we are not getting enough nutrition in our food unresolved trauma and emotions that are trapped in our energy field um very few of us deal with the trauma or emotions at the time. And this is partly understandable because if you've been in an accident or had a strong emotion, you're not thinking deal with it, deal with it. Um, and then we get think we've got over it, get on with our lives. But actually that trauma or emotion is held in our energy field um, and it reverberates into the physical if it's not resolved, and that is what makes us have a physical illness. Wear and tear, of course, with age, that is brings on all sorts of illness, disease and conditions. So what is healing? So healing, true healing is getting to the root cause of a dis-ease removing those energy blocks and bringing our mind, body and spirit in alignment into homeostasis. So what prevents us from healing? We don't all heal um, at the same rate. We don't all heal. So the biggest and the foremost one and the most powerful thing is our minds. Our minds alone can heal us. If we've got a strong mind and a strong determination, we can overcome anything. Limiting beliefs. Uh, now, limiting beliefs can be anything that limits us going forward in our life. But the big one is not knowing that you're worthy to heal. Um, that kind of sounds strange, but um, it's very true for a lot of people. Attachments. Again, this is something that people don't want to acknowledge. Um, but again, it's a big thing that stops us from healing. 
because illness can become part of our identity. How often people say, well, how are you? And you go through a list of all the things that are wrong. Um, it can become the person, you know, oh, that person is the person with the bad leg or with asthma or with any other um, condition. And they're identified with that. And what's more, they identify themselves with it. Um, and for them, it can become an energy source because people, um, oh, poor so-and-so, they can't do, they can't live a normal life, whatever. So people hang on to that because it makes them different and it makes them important. And sadly, it makes them have a victim mentality. And if somebody's like, poor me, they're not taking responsibility that they need to, they need that responsibility to heal themselves because all healing is self-healing only we can heal ourselves so not taking responsibility as i've just said is um to heal yourself all healing is self-healing um a lot of people as we know especially now are opting for a quick fix they don't want to work on getting to the cause of what's making them sick uh, they just want to mask the symptoms um, and to feel better enough to just get on with life the best way they can. Um, but it doesn't actually heal the cause, the root cause. Um, and so they're always going to have this disease or illness. They're never, ever going to get well unless you actually get to the cause. You are not going to fix it. Okay, moving on to the QSB. So the QSB, um, a lot of you got the QSB, one or two of you haven't. Uh, it is, QSB stands for Quantum Scalar Box. It is um, a derivative of Nikola Tesla's te technology. Um, he was working with scale, scalar waves um, and he was doing some, some healing work with, with scalar waves. A lot of that work has, has been lost, but it is pretty uh, clear that he was he was working with them in that way. Uh, this, the QSB has within it a frequency generator, so it's generating some some frequencies, which are then fed into scalar coils, which then radiate out into the room and affects anybody in the room. So. Uh, the, the frequencies that we use are the solfeggio frequencies, and you can map those to all the individual energy centers uh, through the body. And what the what the QSB is primarily doing is it's shaking these things up. It's shaking these energy centers up. These energy centers are where we hold a lot of our trauma, uh, our, our uh, you know, unresolved trauma, our issues. Um, and it, it sh shakes them up and it makes it easier for us to remove them. And of course, when these energy centers are blocked, it means that our energy is not flowing up and through our body. So it's um, working in two ways. You've got that blockage, but you've also not got the energy going to the other centers that you need. But I mean, a lot of people already know this because they know um, about balancing the chakras yeah so the qsb is get, getting to the roots of the of the issue is um i mean it, it will obviously help with 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 symptoms because the roots are gone and then the the, the weeds uh, are gone with the weeds being the illness or or, or, or the is, issues uh, there is an upgrade that comes um, for that we have provide for the QSB um, that allows it to override the custom frequencies. The custom frequencies, as I said, are the solfeggio frequencies. Um, they are um, a, a, a set of healing frequencies that have resurfaced, uh, encode, encoded within the Bible, and they have very powerful properties to help us to heal. Um, with the upgrade, you can put in some the, some different frequencies, 
and you can mix and match um, to create your own sequences. Um, it also plugs you into a, a specific newsletter related to the QSB, and we have a forum uh, where people can share ideas and ask questions and interact. Okay, so that's the QSB. We're now going to move on to the technology of wave genetics. Hopefully, everybody's um, up with us so far. Wave genetics is a term that was coined by the inventor, Dr. Peter Garyev. Got some thumbs up there. He, he deserves some thumbs up. He was a genius. I say he was. Uh, he was lost to the world, I think, about four years ago. Um, so he's a Russian scientist, or was a Russian scientist, uh, and he made some pretty amazing discoveries, which were the root of his, his healing technology. Um, he did an ex experiment, um, which is mind-blowing in, uh, in its implications. He shone a laser beam through, the, uh, through a salamander embryo through into a frog embryo. And that, those frog embryos turned into adult salamanders. So what he had proved was that the information that made the salamander was somehow around the embryo uh, and shining a laser through it, picked up that information and transferred it across to the frog embryo. And so it's over, it overwrote the information in a, of, the, of the, the, the frog embryo and, and turned it into a salamander. So that's a pretty profound thing to uh, discover. So he determined that the information to, to make our bodies and to heal our bodies uh, was st actually stored within our energy field not in the DNA, DNA itself. So the body is, the, is accessing this information in the field when it needs to repair, and needs to, you know, to, to heal itself, um, kind of like uh, our computers access information in the cloud. So the cloud being our energy field and the DNA being kind of like a, a, a computer. And this... DNA inf information, this information within the field degrades over time. Um, and we know why it, why it degrades. It degrades because of the toxic food, the, the EMF, the stress, um, all those good things um, have a, a, a wear and tear effect on uh, our, uh, our blueprint. So if you have an access to the original copy, then you can overwrite the defective copy. So that like, like with the salamander and the frog, if you have access to the frog, inf the salamander information, you can overwrite the frog information. And Gary have discovered that um, a baby's photo contains that information embedded with it. Now, that might seem a bit left field for some people, but uh, it, this has been, people have been using photos to make connections and extract information for, for, a long, for a long time. But he discovered that using laser equipment, you could, he could scan these photos and extract information from it. Now, I don't understand how, how, he, how he does that. I, I suspect there's only very few people on the planet that know how he does that. You, it, he's, it's still being done uh, in his um, establishment in, in Russia, and you can still access these sand files. Uh, and then playing those sand fi files um, to the adult, it provides that information for uh, our healing mechanism, our, the intelligence within our, 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 our beings, to then start to overwrite that faulty DNA, that faulty uh, degraded information. So he made, uh, or you can get um, some generic sand files, 
which um, he's made up using remedies by taking the information from um, from herbs, her herbs and minerals and crystals and what have you. Uh, and I'll give you a, a sample of what that sounds like. So that is pretty much what if you got if you got an individual sound file for, you, for yourself, this is pretty much what it would sound like. And you would listen to that daily to, to provide that information to your body. So using this technology, he's had some amazing results. He's had anti-aging results. Um, now, he reckoned that we couldn't age backwards any faster than we can go forwards, than we can age forwards. I'm not so sure about that, and and there, he had some um, he had some interesting results. He had 60 and 70 year old women that restarted their menstrual uh, cycles. So that would be that you know that was uh, defying that that uh, idea. Um, if you have some kind of uh, um, congenital condition. Um, you can use the the photograph of a healthy sibling. Um, you, there's also some other photos you can use. We'll explain in in, in a minute. But um, you could you, you could use a, a healthy si sibling's photo, uh, create a SAM file, and then pre present that to to the the sibling with the, with con congenital condition. Uh, in this way, he's been able to reverse aut autism symptoms. Um, Down syndrome, cystic fibrosis. Uh, he's had great results with cancer, diabetes, uh, accelerated healing of the spine, and a lot of other things. I've gone into his Russian site and, and translated some of the testimonials uh, to get some idea, and, and they are available on our website if you're interested to have a look at those. Now, when I read this information, uh, I got excited because a light bulb went off uh, in, in me and it's like, yes, we can do this. We can not only um, make this more widely available um, with, it, with, the, with the help of the QSB, but we can improve upon it. Uh, and... This is the, the, the QSB wave. We're going to introduce it now. So the QSB wave is this um, thing here with a, um, a photograph on the top. We've got one here, which once we finish the slideshow, we'll put hold one up to the camera. You can have a, have a good look at it. Um, and it is designed that it will sit underneath the QSB uh, it will stack neatly on there. You, you can put photographs in between the two if you like. If you, if you, whatever you're using is a little bit bulky, then you can use it in a side by side formation like this. So to to understand what it's doing, probably a, a good way to do that is to is to compare it with what Gary Ab was doing. So Garrier's technology uses propriety laser scan equipment to scan photographs. He stipulates that one photograph, uh, one person it needs to be in the photograph. The QSB wave uses an energetic plate uh, with our technology, um, energy moving technology underneath to help that interaction with the plate to collect the information from the photograph. It doesn't matter how many people are on that photograph? Because um, the body has the intelligence to be able to pick out what it needs. It's kind of like um, you know, if 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 you got tipped a, a packet of M and M's out in front of you, and there was one red one, you know straight away you could to go and pick up the the red one. That's the one I need. That's the one I like, and it works the same way. So it's all subconsciously um, being done by um, by a by high, higher selves. Elizabeth saying he's using it for a cataract and got rid of the lump on the neck from douse frequencies. Great. 
That's great. Thanks for sharing that, Elizabeth. Um, so Gary has technology embeds information into a SAN file. The QSB transits information to the room. It uses scalar waves. Scalar waves are more powerful than sound. Sound interacts physically with the body and then reverberates up through our emotional and, and mental bodies. Um, but uh, scalar waves are vibrating the field. We are like fish made of water that are swimming in water. So you vibrate the water, everything is vibrating, sort of. And that's our physical body, our mental body, body, our emotional body. So wherever the issue is, it's been getting full power. So scalar waves, um, thanks to the QSB. So the DNA information uh, with Garia's technology is supplied via audio equipment. Um, you just play it on your stereo. Um, there's a potential for long wait times. There is an out outfit in the UK that is um, providing this service, but they are sending the, the photographs to, to Russia uh, and then and then forwarding in from them. So uh, it, it can be a, a, a lengthy process. The difference with the QSB wave is that it, it's into instantaneous. If you have a baby photo and you have somebody that wants to, to have a healing session, you've got all, you need, all that you need there and then um, so plug it in and go. Um, the, the individual audio files are quite costly um, and they work for one person. Well, that, well, I say one person. If you have a, a, if your sibling um, is there, they would work for, for two, two people. Um, <clears throat> and the QSB wave is, is virtually a zero set, setup cost per client, per person. There's, there's no no cost, extra cost involved once you've got the equipment. Um, healing remotely, which we're going to talk about in, in details in, in, uh, in a little bit, um, is, is, is restricted to an individual receiving a, a custom audio file. So it's the, custom, the, fi the file is obviously coming to you. As I said, it's, it's only good for you or a sibling. Um, and with the QSB wave, you can remotely heal multiple um, recipients at the same time. Yeah, so one person healing at a time with Gary's technology, and you can you can heal a, a, a room full or give people a um, a, a session um, in in a room. We, we when we started out to demonstrate the QSB, we had twenty people around a QSB, uh, if you had a big enough room, you could get more people than that. About $1,600 New Zealand dollars um, per individual uh, sand file for, with Garrier's technology. Um, and you could sell this service to, to um, yourself to infinite number of people for the one-time cost. So you, I mean, it, there is a, bi a business potential here to help us get this technology, get this healing out there, um, if somebody is interested, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Uh, in a moment, but that's the potential there. It uses 528 hertz as a carrier wave. Uh, 528 hertz is the frequency of transformation and miracles. It's the frequency of DNA repair. Um, uh, and DNA has been repaired using this frequency, uh, exposing it using sound um, to uh, uh, exposing a petri dish, uh, broken DNA in a petri dish, played the 528 and it, and it healed. Um, and it's also the frequency of love. So obviously that is the frequency that the QSB wave um, transmits. And the way that it works... <clears throat> You should put your photograph or, or other things. You can put other things on there as well. We'll explain in a minute on there. Um, and then the Q, as soon as it's plugged in, the, the, um, the QSB wave will start to transmit the, the, the 528 hertz. And it was is connected within the energetic plate. So the energetic plate is extracting the information from that photograph. And then that is being transmitted to the QSB which then radiates it out into the room. 
So one question people are likely to ask is what picture can you use? Um, if you've got a baby photo of yourself and you were a healthy baby, you can use, obviously, you use yours. If you have um, a congenital condition, you were you had some uh, some kind of condition you were born with, um, but your your sibling was born healthy, then you can use that sibling's photo um, in the same way you can use a nephew or a niece. There has to be um, the, the sibling obviously has to be a full sibling. The nephew or niece has to be the child of that full sibling. Um, if you have a child uh, and or a grandchild, you can use their baby photos because they need to have, the photo needs to have the information from your ma mother and father's DNA. Um, so even if you didn't have, uh, if you didn't have all those things, but you had a baby photo of your mother and a baby photo of your father, you could put those on and that would work as well. Um, and the, the, the photo should be as young as possible. Um, a baby, if, if possible, a toddler um, would work as well. Um, and they should be completely healthy. So all those, all those, things, all those photos you can use um, to treat yourself. So we are obviously early in the game, um, but we have some we have some beta testers that have been working with it. Um, we've got Elizabeth uh, here with us tonight, and uh, she is um, she is a very keen user of the QSB Wave, and she's been been working with it on herself and other people. Um, and she says, I've been privileged to try the QSB Wave before its release. As well as sitting with the QSB Wave, I put a crystal water bowl next to it so, again, I can sip the frequencies during the day. Now, this is a, a, this is a very interesting thing, a very uh, in interesting benefit. You can put water next to the QSB and have that information embedded within the water. So then you're not only... Uh, uh, you're not only getting the, um, the the frequencies directly, but you can take it later as as a remedy. Um, she used a crystal water bottle, which um, which has a, an, 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 a, a technology in it to add an, another element of energy. But you could do that with a glass or a bottle. Um, so she was working with a friend that had major bowel surgery. She had 19 sessions, did she, which time she com commented on how much calmer she felt and less apprehensive. The bowel condition was less severe and her aches and pains were improved. She said she feels years younger. And it works on animals as well, just like the QSB work will work on animals. Um, you can use um, puppy and, and kitten photos to treat your cats and your dogs, respectively. Um, but just being in the presence of, of the QSB wave, um, a cat uh, calmed down uh, and um, from being very skitty to being able to be cuddled. And she's revealed her age to us, and she's 83, and she feels like 63 on the whole. Okay, so Triana Daly from Green Goddess. Some people in New Zealand might be familiar with Green Goddess. They, they um, sell uh, natural cleaning products and health products and uh, beauty products. Um, she got hold of, hold of one, and she uh, said, the first time I used it, I noticed a slight detox effect and felt emotional. It's emotional release is, is certainly a, a potential from, from, from healing. And had some sort of sort of release. I felt quite tired, but all okay after a good night's sleep. The times after that felt peaceful and energized, like my cells were repairing. Well, they probably were. Um, they were getting that using that new information to to repair themselves. Last week, I had a tummy bug and found that using the QSB wave lessened the effects of my headache and aches and pains. In general, it made me feel happy, lighter, and even a bit younger. I've been using it with my baby picture and would very much like to continue using it when you have made them available. I feel that like using it consistently over time is of great benefit. 
So, um, first of all, my regular blood tests. I have regular blood tests because I've got some damage from pharmaceutical drugs um, that I took before I knew any better. Uh, and these have showed a remarkable improvement. So that's a big one for me. Um, I have a busy lifestyle. I'm not a kid anymore, although I feel like one. Um, and my energy levels are definitely up and I very rarely have to go, you know, to get like three o'clock and I have to have a power nap. Um, I'm more supple, um, you know, those age related morning, oh, go on it, get out of bed kind of things. Um, and then when you get up, you know, oh, um, are pretty much gone. And aches and pains around um, fractures, gone completely. Um, I've got sun damaged skin, again, from abuse when I was young and used to play in the sun. Um, and I have had to have quite a lot of treatment um, on it. And checkups every six months and now my skin specialist said well your skin is absolutely wonderful and you can need only come every 12 months so that they are great indicators for me i'm working on the wrinkles but we're getting there yeah well i just recently had a blood test and it was was perfect i'm i'm 61 years of age and um my results were that of somebody much much younger and i will admit to having something a condition i've had a condition that, that a lot of older men uh, real men not people that identify as men uh can have and that is um passing water uh it can it can get a little bit blocked uh as you may be aware there's some people laughing at me there you see with the emojis um so my flow Probably was not, yeah my, yeah my flow was not flowing as it should be. um since i've been using the qsb wave uh, you can you'd be, be pleased to know i am flowing nicely <laughs> okay so that is, that wraps up the um the the um, the, the wave genetics part of it we, we're calling uh what we're doing is quantum wave genetics to extinct to distinguish it from Garyev's work um but there are far more possibilities with having uh the qsb wave connected to your qsb because basically whatever you put on that energetic plate the information from it the energetic vibrational information from it is going to be broadcast out of the qsb and that opens up some pretty interesting possibilities. You could put herbs on there, for example. You could put a herbal remedy. So they're, once they're on there, you're getting, an, and it's running, you're getting the, the benefit from those, those frequencies without ingesting them. Um, but you can also put a glass of water next to your QSB, and you can make yourself... Uh, another herbal remedy um, you, you can make homeopathic remedies you can put homeopathic remedies on there you can treat yourself uh, with scalar waves with the same with the same frequencies and you can you can even duplicate those essential oils you can't usually consume those um, but you can benefit from their vibration by transmitting them through this some of you will have heard of color therapy um, color therapy is about using the frequency of color to help us to heal. Um, there are there are one or two um, color therapists here in New Zealand. I'm sure they exist around the world. They use swatches of of of, co uh, of colored wool. Um, you, uh, if that was something you wanted to explore, you could put that colored wool on the on the plate and give yourself some color color therapy. Minerals crystals obviously and foods i know that's something that elizabeth is ex exploring um she's making herself a nutrition nutritional um drink with by putting frequencies of food 
into in, into water um and if she's i mean you, you everybody i'm sure everybody knows that you can heal yourself by using foods but sometimes it's quite hard to be able to consume all those foods hard and expensive but you can make yourself a, a, a oh elizabeth even in, even my breakfast smoothie okay <laughs> all right and i'm sure we this list is not exhaustive some people will have thought some of some other things that you could put on there yeah okay quantum entanglement einstein called this spooky action at a distance he he, he thought it was really spooky thing and it is and it is it's hard to get your head around it but you start to go look at quantum physics um it can it can be a bit mind-boggling but this this is this is something that's been used very practically uh, and is the root behind um, re healing at a distance, remote healing. So quantum, when two particles are quantum entangled, it means that whatever you do to one, you simultaneously do to the other, no matter how far apart they are. So you could take one particle to the other side of the universe uh, and do something, vibrate it, and the, the, the entangled particle will vibrate instantaneously on the other side. So there's an instantaneous connection between two quantum entangled um, items. And our DNA, a current DNA, is like your energetic email address. So if somebody wants to send something to you, you can use your, D, your DNA um, to quantum entangle uh, with you and send that information or that healing. So it's, entang it's entangled with you. And that is the basis be behind remote healing. So if I'm sure there's one or two people here that think, well, remote healing don't really quite get that. Um, there's some solid science behind it. In fact, this the, the science of quantum entanglement um, is... Um, is what they're using in, in satellites to com communicate with ground stations. So they, they've got quantum in entangled uh, particles. They, they vibrate the one in the satellite with some, with some information and the ground station picks that up and, and vibrates in, in, in harmony with it. And of course that is unhackable. So, th so this technology is being used practically. So remote healing. If you have a QSB and a QSB wave, you are set up to remotely heal anybody. Now, this is this is really Elizabeth's baby. I mean, Elizabeth has been getting ideas come left, right, and 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 center. And I was like, we're struggling to keep up, keep up with her. But it's really exciting what she's um, what she's working out. And she's she's not only worked this out, but she's doing it now she's doing it now uh, and re remotely healing some of her friends um so if you look at this this picture here you've got the the qsb wave uh with some photographs on it now going back to the m m's analogy you can have a, quite a few photographs on there uh, so you can put um 50 or more photographs on there uh, all that information is being uh, uh, picked up by uh, by the, um, the QSB wave, transmitted through the, the QSB, which is uh, flipped flipped the other way up, so that the coils are radiating out into these plastic containers. In these plastic containers are some little baggies with some with labels on containing uh, nail clippings or hair samples of the people being remotely healed. So. That's how easy it is. Okay, you you could use photographs here as well, current photographs. You could make the connection that way, um, but it, it just might be, you know, it, it, in terms of space and um, and setting it up might be more, more more complicated. But this setup, as you can see, how easy it is. Um, straight away, you you can, and you basically all all you need to do is put the photographs on set that up switch it on you could go and make a cup of tea or watch television or whatever you don't actually have to be physically involved with it beyond that exciting 
Watch TV or have a cup of tea. Yeah, you can have a cup of tea. You can have a cup of tea whilst you're healing all these people. Um, so this opens up some some exciting possibilities. Um, can I have a one in the chat box for anybody that's involved in helping people on their healing journey, journeys at the moment? Who's involved in the healing business? Okay, I thought we I thought we've got quite a few here. Okay, all right. Yeah. Can I have a two if you can see straight away how you could add that to your business? Yeah. Great. So you Anybody that's that's in the, in the business of healing, you can, you you can, you can, if you've got a big enough space, you can do it directly, or you you can open it up to heal anybody anywhere in the world um, using this re remote setup. So we can't do this ourselves, um, uh, but because we need help. I mean, we we there's there's four of us at Life Energy Designs. Um, we can provide the equipment uh, and then you can offer, as a suggestion, you can offer free or paid remote remote healing um, and you could help us get the QSB waves out as an affiliate um, and, and make some money that way, way or, um, or I say you could you could charge uh, for, for a session. There's a few different possibilities. We are working with Elizabeth to put together some resources um, to help you do that. Um, some forms, some videos, some we'll do be doing more webinars. We can make those webinars available to you to your your potential clients. Um, whatever we, whatever you, you need, um, we can help you know work with you so that you can grow your own business. Um, in this way okay this part is where we deal with the questions but i think that everybody's been answering their own questions yes everybody be answering i your think own. we're superfluous we'll go and have a cup of coffee see you later yeah um all right i don't i don't know um okay Thank you so much for making the replay available. Most unfortunately, I missed the first 20 minutes. So, yep, you are um, able to get the replay so you can catch up on the 20 minutes. Um, Caitlin, how long is the session? That's a good question. Um, on the last webinar, Elizabeth said that she doused hour and a half. Um, I don't know whether that's the same for everybody. I personally run the QSB wave overnight. Um, and and that's been working for me. Um, it does need to be done daily or at least regularly. I mean, if you miss a day, it's not gonna it's it's not gonna do you any harm. Um, seemingly, this information doesn't isn't stored, so it's not like a one time go. It needs to be done um, regularly. But if you douse or if you muscle test, um, do that, yeah. and you, you might find that different people have different requirements yeah but um, i mean just say elizabeth worked worked that out an hour and a half uh triona how long can you live leave it on for um i think elizabeth can answer that one she leaves hers on all the time uh it, the, the the um circuitry is pretty robust i mean when we first brought the qsb wave out we were we were concerned because we did, hadn't tested it but um I mean, I, re I leave it on all, all overnight and I sometimes forget to switch it off. So it's running 24 four hours. Um, I say it's pretty pretty robust. You shout at me for that. I, I did. You, I did tell you, you say, what. Well, it's electronics. It wants a little bit of a breather. Yeah, they do. They do. They do, they do appreciate a, a bit of a rest now yeah. and again. Yeah. You want uh, a bit of a breather. Keep David happy. Could you use the QSB custom set to to 528 and put a baby photo on of it on top and get the same benefits, or you do or do you need the wave to get uh, to get it working properly? You would need the wave. the The wave uh, has got some technology in it 
um, some energetic technology to interact with the picture on, on the top of the plate or whatever's on top of the plate and pull that information into um, the frequency being transmitted. Range of the scalar wave transmission of the QSB. Um, that's a, a good one. Basically, uh, scalar waves keep going and going. Uh, they, they are infinite. But um, in terms of practically getting a, a, a treatment, you want to be in the same, the same room with it. So within two, three meters, ideally. And, and, and just um, check it out to see what feels most comfortable. David can be really close to the QSB. It doesn't bother him, but I'm... Um, quite energy sensitive and I need to have the QSB or be a bit further away from the QSB. So, um, yeah, you, you, you'll you be able to gauge where it's most comfortable, but you need to be in the same room, don't you, really? Yeah, you want to be in the same room. Is this technology related to linguistic um, wave genetics? Well, yes. It is. It's, it's related. It was born from the, the understanding that the technology, the wisdom of Peter Garyev. Uh, and what I've done is take that technology and, uh, and put it into, you know, a, a, diff a different technology. So you can get the same benefits um, instantaneously, basically setting yourself up uh, as, um, as, a, as a provider. Um, am I part of the website? No, nope. uh, we are nothing to do with um, any other any anybody that's the providing wave genetics. We have um, simply been inspired by what Gary Ev has done and taken it um, and put our own stamp on it. And uh, we're not we're associated with anybody else that's providing. Any any service associated with with sound? David's been very humble here because actually he's given the information um, and has been for everything that we've ever done. Uh, we're working here for our higher power, um, and um, that's it. So if you ask us um, any of the questions about normal um, products so-called products uh we won't be able to give you the same answers no. we're just we're just doing a service for um mankind i suppose yeah yeah indeed and it's very humbling to come from that perspective absolutely and like i said before <clears throat> we couldn't do it without the people that support us um, yes, indeed. Sorry, I'm just getting into the question. Um, for my elderly aunt, would a baby photo of a child of mine help, mine help her? Uh, yes, because you are, so it would be effectively the great niece or nephew. Um, yes, that would have the information required. It would have uh, your aunt's mother and father's um, information in it, yes. Uh what we also got. Caitlin has asked. Um, Tina has a great question in the chat box. Okay, we'll we'll scan the chat box in a minute. But I mean, if Tina, um, if if you can put it in the question questions, that will help us um, pick it out because the chat box has got it got quite busy. Um, Lanell says, can you work on a person without asking their permission, but maybe get permission from above? Yeah, you need to ask their, um, you need to query their higher selves. Um, but I mean, if you're saying get permission from above, I presume that you mean um, because they're not able to give permission. I mean, people have asked us this question, haven't they, about... Um, I mean, there's all sorts of circumstances where people couldn't give their permission. But, yeah, I think that's a, a, a great way. But, yeah. I mean, if you can get their permission, obviously. Yes, and, and they, sh they should be involved. And, yeah. 
you know, it's their intent. If their intent is aligned, they're on board with with um, healing themselves. Then then it's you're going to empower the whole process. But obviously, there's ch children. There's some people that perhaps are handicapped to the point where they they are not able to communicate. Then you can you can query their 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 higher selves. Um, Judy asks, could it reverse genetic disease that affects the rods and cones of the eye using a remote healing, using baby teeth? Baby teeth, I believe, would contain the DNA, um, DNA information. So, yes, I mean, I don't know what the limits of this technology are, but I would think that that it would fall well within its capabilities. Um Annette is asked, if you have a photo of your husband as a child for healing, does it affect you if you're in the room? Um, no, it's it's like you, it, going back to the M&M's uh, example, uh, it just means that there's blue M&M's in the room um, and you don't like the blue M&M's or you don't have any use for the blue M&M's, you, you want the red ones. So... It, it, it won't it won't affect you in fact as i said you could stack 50 or even more um photographs on top of that qsb wave and everybody can be in the room we've had 20 people around a qsb i'm sure that you, you could fit more in um you can put all their photos baby photos on, on the qsb and treat everybody uh you mentioned the frequency doesn't hold the DNA. Does it mean that when you start using it, do you need to continue using it regularly forever? What happens if you stop? Is, is there a way to make the changes permanent? Um, I think I addressed that. As far as I understand, there is no um, recording mechanism. There's no memory system for this uh, overwriting information. So uh, it needs to be presented on a regular basis. If you stopped presenting the information, then presumably you would stop reversing your age or whatever healing process was going was going on will will stop so it, it needs to be a dynamic process mark has asked if you are quantum entangled with the qsb and the photo can you travel through your day anywhere yes if you you um, i know that elizabeth is doing this regularly she's giving herself remote treatments so she's set it up with a baby photo. She put a, a sample of an, a DNA next to the um, QSB and she goes about her day. So you could be anywhere on the planet. You could travel, if you, and if you left it running, you could travel to another country uh, and it would still be working on you. Do you do all the cords come with the wave? Absolutely, yes. You, if you have a QSB, you obviously need the QSB. We had this question come up and make it absolutely clear that the QSB wave is an accessory to the QS, QSB. You can get, um, you can buy the two on, on our website together as a package, uh, and we'll throw in the upgrade pack uh, as 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 well. Um, but um, you will need a QS, QSB. Um, but say once once you get the wave, you're good to go. If we run out of questions, there was some on the um, on the chat. Okay, I'm going to have a. I'm switching over to the chat now, and I see what we can find. Uh, some of them have been answered. I think. I think we perhaps have, have dealt with some. Okay. Uh, Pets benefit. Gail has made a comment yep. that pets benefit. Yeah. Yep. Animals and and you made a, um, a statement about they've not got the filters that we've got. Oh yes, uh, it's often. I, I mean, people that have done healing on animals probably concur. They don't have the same filters um, as, as us. They don't. They're not going. Like, it's like, well, is this going to work on me? You um, know, I'm putting doubt in the way. Uh, am I worth it? Um, you know, I'm putting that doubt in the way. Animals just just are there. They're you know, they, if you present something, um, a frequency to an animal that's going to help an energy to an animal that's going to help them heal, they will they will just take it on board and and, and use it. So yeah, animals great. Um, similarly, children children don't know know what's going on. 
so they don't know to block it. Um, so we work on, on children as well. And Gail's asking um, also, look, about... Um, self-healing for animals um well self-healing does she mean uh outside the room uh, remote healing you're talking about remote healing girl because you could use remote healing for animals couldn't you yeah um multi-pet household if, if if your dogs and your cats are, are in the room with you is she having healing no problem in fact if you have a, a puppy or a kitten photo they can receive healing at the same time as you. Um, why not? Um, yeah, there's no, there's no problem. It's not going to do them any, any harm, Gail. Um, yeah, and Kerry said about um, my understanding is that healing is not wanted. If, if it's not wanted, the healing won't be accepted by the patient. Yeah, there's intelligence involved. There's divine intelligence involved in the healing process. Um, so I doubt very much whether you could heal somebody that wasn't ready to heal. That would be overriding um, their, um, you know, their freedoms. So, okay, I'm going to scroll. We've got so much here. Is there anybody? It, 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 I think the easiest thing to do would be if, if if you asked a question in the chat box. If I could trouble you to the copy and paste it into the question box um, because it's 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 now there's there's a lot of information there it's going to be hard for us to pick it out so we've got some more questions in the question box um from lanelle if a person is not sure if their hips were in alignment at birth or they moved out say six what what should you do now problem as the person grows Get a sibling photo and one of the person as well, covering both aspects. Yeah, I would do that. Why not? Uh, if you've got your baby photo, but you're not sure whether you're a uh, completely healthy but, um, baby because you've developed something down the line, if you've got a completely healthy sibling, put their photograph on there as well. Um, no problem at all. Cover all your bases. Could you heal too fast? No um you're in, in you're the one doing the healing so you know how much you can handle how fast you can handle it so if if the potential is there for you to heal faster than than you, than is good for you then you were the one who will put the brakes on so no problem there at all can it assist with weight loss laugh out loud um <laughs> i don't know I don't know, but I'm I'm quite I'd be quite excited to hear some 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 feedback. I mean, it might heal the underlying condition as to why 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 you put on the weight. It might if there's a condition behind the, the adding of the weight, then then why not? Um, if you just like food too much, um, maybe not. So I mean, it, I would say that would depend. Um, do you have any videos on how to use the upgrade? Uh, I believe I created a video for that. Um, I, but where it is? Where it is, I don't know. Um, but the fact that you've asked for it, and if I, if I can't find it, I'll, I'll create one for you. Um, so that's that question. Um, Is the QSB adjustable as to power sent? No, it's not. But you can adjust the power that you receive by moving um, away from it. So you can control that um, by distance. As Margie said previously, she, I can sit on top of it. Margie needs to be a little bit further away. So that's, that's the kind of volume control. Um, you probably already covered this, but given I was late, could you please advise whether healing occurs without a photo or is the photo necessary on every occasion? Uh, you need to have the photo, um, uh, either of you or a sibling or a niece or, or, or whatever, we, as we described. Yeah, the to, to, to benefit from quantum wave genetics, the photo needs to be on there. But you can heal, your, give yourself a healing with herbs with homeopathy, with crystals or color, whatever else you can do that without a photo, obviously. 
Tina's asking, is there anything that can affect the frequency of the QSB wave? No, it's, it's, decided, it's designed to run at 528. That's pre-programmed in there. Um, it runs 528, picks up the frequency of anything on the plate, and then transmits that via the QSB. Can you use both devices from your caravan? Um, yes, you can. Um, we have a cable on our website, which is a 12-volt cable that you can plug into a cigarette lighter adapter uh, that will plug into the QSB wave. And then there is a cable that comes with the QSB wave that then takes that the power and connects it into the QSB. So it's chained from the one power supply, so you could easily run it off, off 12 volts. Because they're actually connected to each other, aren't they? Yeah, they they connect the the QSB wave takes, or rather, the QSB takes its power from the QSB. So if you've got a QSB, you'll have a power pack. That power pack um, is all you need to power both. Thank you for your answer. Can you use a photo copy of a photo? Well, that's a good question. Um, Gary F's team uses. Um, a, a JPEG file. Uh, I have doubts that if you have an original photo where light has interacted with a, a negative or the plate itself, then that will, wait, will work better and it provides a slightly better uh, source of information. But if you don't have that and have a, um, a JPEG, but say something on your phone, you could print that out and put it on the plate, that will work. Does the wave enhance the frequency of the crystals? Um, the QSB would, the wave wouldn't. The QSB is a transmitter. You can use it to help program those frequencies into a crystal. In fact, that's a, an interesting idea if you've got a crystal pendant or if indeed if you've got one of our pendants which contain crystals, you could put that next to your QSB and uh, have your, your own healing frequencies embedded in the crystals and, and being carried around with you. So, yeah, the crystals next to the QSB, and you could uh, embed those um, frequencies into the crystal as, as, as you can with water, which is obviously crystalline. Tina's, I, Tina says, I'm confused. To get the wave, what is the total cost, the QSB and the wave? Um, well, if you go to, the, if you go to our, our page, you can see all that information. There's, there's um, diff different packages. If you do, there's a, um, the QSB wave is one price. And if you drop down, there's a package with the QSB uh, wave and the QSB. So that's all available on the page. Uh, if, if you haven't found the page yet, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's open on our, on, a, on our product. Go to all our products, go to healing products, and, and you can access it from there as well. So can I answer one? You can answer one, yes. Um, which, sorry, did you want to get which no, one? Did... I, from Dwight. When That's, you, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when using the wave, is the QSB still running through its seven different frequencies? No, Dwight, it's not. See, that was an easy one for me. That's an easy one. That's, and you and well answered. It was very well answered. Um, I'm learning. So... Um, Judy is asking, I have to use reading glasses on a plus two. Could you get rid of necessary the necessity for me to rely on them? Well, uh, yeah, why not? I mean, you, 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 your creator designed you to have perfect eyesight. Why is it deteriorated? Um, I mean, there's lots of answers to that question. But if you're providing your body with information to, to um, reset that, why not? Um, so, yes. I mean, how long it would it take? I don't know. Would it work for everybody? I don't know. I mean, uh, we are we're pioneers. Uh, we know that the technology works. We we know it's good. We know it's going to do some amazing things. But we can't say, well, yes, it will do this for this person, or that that will do that for the, for that person, because we uh, ultimately we are on our own healing journeys. And we need your feedback, please. Your feedback yeah, we, on everything, because. This is how um, we can, yeah. We can we can move forward. I mean, we we're working backwards. It's like um, 
like all of our technology, we are guided to produce it. We, we have some idea what it will do, and we have some clear ideas what, we, what it will do. Um, but then we are in a learning curve as to exactly what it can do, uh, and that we rely on your feedback to, to help, help fill in those gaps. Um, will a black and white photo be an option? You can answer that one, can you? Yes, yes, Mark. Yes, no problem with black and white. I can do yes, no answers. Okay. Does the whole baby body need to be in the photo as face only? Okay. Face face needs to be in it. Body doesn't necessarily. A face will make the, the, the connection. So it doesn't have to have the whole body. No problem. Um, does the baby's whole body? Oh, uh, we've answered that one. Face is okay. Done answering that one. Um, if a person travels overseas, I guess you set it up at home and the energy goes around the world while traveling. As you said, uh, as you said, you can't stop using it. No, if you, I mean, unless you had somebody to switch it off, uh, you would be getting that information 24-7. Uh, but it might be better to have it on a timer because I really don't like the idea of it being on all the time, really. Do you? Yes. I mean, that that's a very good answer. It's like a very good um solution um, get one of those cheap 11 12 bucks timers set it to to run a couple two two three hours a day or whatever you want um plug it plug in your qsb and your wave into that with your photo on and your dna sample and you're being healed where where wherever you are um however many hours a day that you set it for and and uh, you, you're resting your your equipment uh, when it switches itself off because although that it's really we've we've come to learn how robust our equipment is this equipment is i think we've got to remember that it is electronic equipment um and it's going to have a shelf life or not a shelf life but a living life um so obviously if you give it some breaks it it's like us we need to sleep at night don't we so that we can yeah. carry on so it, it just, it's going to last longer your equipment's going to last longer if you give it little breaks yeah okay alessandra is there no if there are no living healthy siblings can i use the pick of a deceased parent or do they need to be living living dna um the parent can be deceased i mean what is death anyway? I mean, whether uh, it's like you know, moving to a different vibration. They're still around. They're still around you. Um, so, yeah, no problem um, if they've moved on. But you need the photo of both parents. Yes, if you were, if you're doing it that way, you would need you would need um, both pa um, um, parents' photo to to give you the full potential to be able to heal. Judy's asking, how wide is the QSB waves energetic field? Um, or does it do the whole house? I think I've answered that question. Basically, you need to be in the room with it within three, two, three, four meters um, to, for a therapeutic benefit. But in, as far as the, the, the scalar waves go, they keep going and going. They'll be, um, throughout the universe, they, 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 there's nothing to stop them. Joe is asking, they may be able to set up a power supply that can switch on remotely from their phone. Yes, indeed. If you've got um, one of these um, smart devices, you can, um, you can dial into it and, and get it switch on and off. That's, that's, going, that's going even more high tech. So that, but that's good, good information, Joe. A bit more modern than we are, Joe. Yeah, you're a bit more up to date. We're a bit old school in some respects. Um, do you feel the QSB come on? Um, yes, I do. Yes, if you're anyway energy sensitive, you're going to feel the QSB coming on. Um, if you're very insensitive to energy, then then you might not. Um, but yeah, that depends on your sensitivity. Okay, got. Cool. No more questions. Have we answered all the questions? 
There's one question that we nobody has answered yet. Uh, sorry, nobody has asked yet, which came up in the last webinar, um, which I'm surprised it hasn't come up, is that how does the QSB wave, the QSB and the QSB wave compare with the EES system? Now, the EES system has got some mega advertising budget, budget behind it. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you that have involved in in healing in any way have, uh, um, are and plugged into that that sort of information will have heard of it. Um, so I'll just talk by answering that question. I can say I can't say too much about it because I've never experienced it. We're communicating with people that have, um, but we've never experienced it. I've been on their website. I don't understand the technology um, that's being presented. So I'm not going to run it down at all. I'm not going to put it put it down, but I'm going to just say some questions that you would want to ask about um, energetic uh, healing technology. Now this is the this is the future. Um, pharmaceuticals is going bye bye pretty much, uh, other than for acute uh, situations. As in terms of healing, that's my prediction. You can you can replay this in a couple of years time and say well and find out how how right I was. David said this first. I, well, I'm sure a few other people have said that. The, the, way, the way of the future is energy and frequency. And there are, there are more technologies um, that are coming out, and some of them are great. Some of them are, are I personally have question marks for. But, they, but if you're assessing some kind of um, technology, you need to look at two things. If it's going to do you any good, it's going to provide energy to you. And it's going to be in a format that your body can easily use, easily assimilate. And it's going to be providing frequencies to you that also your bodies can assimilate and, and use. And if the EES is doing that, then it's then it's the potential is to be to do you some some good. Um, so w the main difference between the QSB and the EES, uh, I would say, is is price and uh, their advertising budget budget. You are not likely to see a Tony Robbins as part of our marketing team anytime soon. But I know Tony Robbins is on board with the EES. So, you know, some people think that for uh, technology to be good, healing technology to work work well, it's got to cost lots of money. And if you're on that page, if that's your mindset, then the EES is doing a great job because it's. They're charging lots of money, uh, so therefore it must be good. But, I mean, we have a different mindset. Uh, we want to get this technology out uh, as affordably as, as we can. Um, and as I, as I said, it's about energy and frequency. We, we are completely open about the technology. And as far as we know, beyond Gary Ave's, um sound technology, this is the first device out there that's giving you your overriding baby DNA information uh, to, to help you heal. So that in itself, the QSB, with the QSB wave, puts it into a class of its own. Okay. We've got a sense of... Can, can yeah. you go on to main screen? You're not on main screen. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Yes. Hi, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, sorry about that. Forgot um, to do that. So. Yeah, Joe, we need you here so that you've got all your modern. We're not. So, okay. Not up to the play, are we? Thanks, Joe. Enjoyed enjoyed our presentation. Thanks for sharing that. That's. Um, can it help um, celiacs, please? Yeah, why not? Um, there's, I mean, that's we can't. We obviously can't give. Um, we can't give specific information and say, look, you use this, you've got this condition, you're going to heal because you are the one doing the, doing the healing. But the potential is for you to heal from anything. I mean, somebody once said to me that all disease is incurable, and that means it is curable from within. So if you have a condition, you can heal it. What, what the QSB and the QSB wave is, is offering you is a powerful ally, a powerful tool in that process. So, yes, what what can't it heal? I, I don't think there's I don't think there's any limits because there is no limits with you and what you can do to heal. Um, 
That's a new one. Isn't it? Yeah, just oh, just this good one here. Oh. Um, what is the difference between healing with the photo only and healing with the photo and the DNA in the plastic box? One is um, one you would need to be in the room with the QSB uh, and the wave. One you could be done remotely. So that that's the difference. Um, so if you have if you have your DNA in, in, beside the QSB, um, you, wherever you go, as we explained before, um, you're getting remote healing. But if you if you don't, then you need to be in the room getting it directly transmitted into your body. But we are going to do a, a webinar about um, remote healing. So I hope you join us on that one because it will be yeah. We're going to be in, sending in out. Depths and we're going to be sending out some information about that. Um, so anybody, whether you're involved in in healing now or you're interested, um, even if you just you know not yet bought a, a QSB or a QSB or a wave, um, you can plug into that and find out some of the possibilities. Share some ideas as how we might leverage up and 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 reach as many people as we can. Yeah, because please keep in touch and. Let us have all your feedback because that's the energy. That's our lifeblood. That's what keeps us going is our interaction with you guys, eh? Yeah. Can you share, are there any other ideas in the oven with the, this QSB? Um, there's the, the oven is is, uh, <laughs> is is having a rest. It's, <laughs> uh, there's, there's so much we need to do to get this technology out there. As I said, Tony Robbins is not is not going to help us. And uh, there's only us. There's only so, us. Yeah. yeah. But yes, there. I Come mean, join us. You can. <laughs> there, there. Yeah. There's there's always new ideas, but um, the ideas come when they're they're downloaded to David. And yes. That's when the time it, is right. Know? Yeah. So that there is there is certainly more potential, but. Um, yeah, I, I, but there's so much potential in the QSB and the wave working together that um, you know just to explore that. I mean, it's going to take uh, you know it's going to be an exciting journey on its own. Caitlin, I have a terahertz wand and think this would work great with it. Okay, I don't know what a terahertz. Well, I've heard of it, but I don't know how it works. Um, but yes, it will work. You know, if you have technology. Uh, it, already, as, as long as it's you know energetic and working, uh, working well, there's there's no reason why you can be able to work it work it alongside. As um, people that that are doing Reiki or other forms of energetic healing, other modalities, um, why not work with alongside the QSB and the QSB wave? Um, it, there's no reason why you, we couldn't, can't use um, both together. We know that a lot of healers are using the QSB in their practice um, alongside what they're doing and, and having really great uh, results. Use of the ESS system requires good hydration. Uh, a bath detox afterwards. Is hydration and detox necessary with the QSB? Um, I would drink plenty of water. Um, I I wouldn't say that you'd need to have, have a, um, a, a detox bath. It, it will naturally detox. It naturally detoxes. I mean, um, I think that um, Triona said that on, in, in, in that testimonial that we showed, David showed earlier, um, that any healing has a, any natural healing should have a detox if necessary. So um, a detox bath, yeah, I suppose it's going to assist perhaps. It might be beneficial, yeah, um, but it's certainly not a necessity. But it's not, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if anybody really finds out how this EES system works and what frequencies they use and everything, please let us know because we've really, we've had, dozens and dozens of questions about it but we have not been able to find out any information at yeah. all really yeah but i say we 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 don't need to really make a comparison i mean you you're if if you if you've heard what we we've, we've got to say about the qsb wave you you uh if you're excited if we don't have job properly you're as excited about it as as we are um but if you you know if you're if you if you're not feeling it and you're feeling it for the for the ES, all all, all power all power to you. 
um, you know, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, you're going to you're going to be guided to to what 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 you need personally yeah. need. Yeah, is the price in New Zealand dollars? You should be seeing the price in your in your local currency. Uh, or um, so certain countries are uh, are tied in with the US dollar outside of New Zealand and Australia. Um, is it better to close the QSB for a therapeutic? Be close to the QSB for a therapeutic session. How does that compare with remote healing? Um, it, it, with my understanding of that will be that um, if you are in the room with the QSB, then you will get that information faster than if you um, are receiving it remotely. Obviously, if you're receiving it remotely, um, it gives you more flexibility because you don't have to be sitting in, in, in one space so that you can you can have it running you know for, for a longer period of time without any inconvenience but if you're physically in the room then you're more likely to feel the experience and you know, it's more 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 likely to be a dynamic process you're going to be um, there consciously um, working with it so that might be that might uh, be uh, another le level of, of benefit to do that um, but that's the that's the main difference. You'll get the the information remotely, just as you will get it in the room. But the room will be a, a faster process. Uh, oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good question. We didn't have that question before. As a woman who's gone through menopause, how do I stop my periods kicking in again? Um, that's. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I've never been through menopause. I mean, maybe if you've got some insight. Well, you wouldn't want to go through it all again, really. Can, can you go backwards through it as well as forward? I suppose if, you, if you're going to be younger, you've just got to put up with the whole, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Gary, I've as I said, had, had those results. He had some um, post-menopausal women restart their menstrual cycle. Will that work with the wave? I don't know. Maybe we should have a disclaimer. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he could open up. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not. We're not going to be responsible for any pregnancies that uh, any, yeah, any late, due to this. Yeah. No. Yeah. A disclaimer. So sorry. Have you? If, yes. Yes. The whole can of worms there. Uh, we, we've gone. I think we're going as far as we need with that. <laughs> Quantum wave genetic babies. <laughs> Yeah, could be, we could we could have a new baby boom. Um, yes, scary thought. Um, yeah, not, let's not go there. Either. Let's not go there. Is the is the quality of the photo important? Um, the best that you 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 can, but um, the information will be there in the photo, uh, even if it's if it's a little bit fuzzy. If you saw my baby photo, you go, oh no. <laughs> How did you get started down this path? Uh, ooh, we can do a whole webinar on that story, but um, I mean the the the, the technology that uh, behind the the pendants that you can see where Margie's neck and uh, you know our, our energy balancing, like the, the pyramid energy balancer, um, that was introduced to us as a result of. Um, Best yeah. to go to the website. Yeah, that's uh, all our, on the website. Yeah, but it, our store is on the website, and it's um, yeah, and, yeah. and we, we get fed a bit information along the way. But um, yeah, that that came to us in Kenya as a result of a, a quite a scary problem that we had with disturbed energy. And we're still living, going. Is this really happening to us? Because it's like, who are we? But we're meant to be on this journey and we're very grateful and humble being on this journey and it's been an incredible journey. But how did we get here? Why we've been chosen to do it? I don't know, but yeah, I think it's just for me, it's a sign that how powerful we are as as human beings if we just connect with our creator yeah indeed i'll be ordering a qsb in a week or so we still have stock available i would think so lee we've still got a, a few left um they are selling at, 
they are selling fast um but um you know we, we, do, we do we do have quite a few left so we just should be all right We, we mortgaged the house so that we yeah, could do Yeah, we mortgaged that, remortgaged the house so that we could get some stock in. If you have the QSB on, on in the room with the TVs, laptops, computers, et cetera, does it affect it all? It, it at all? Um, it's not ideal because you're throwing different frequencies at, at, at you, the frequencies from the television. You know, we generally recommend anybody using the QSB and, and consequently the the QSB wave to create as clear, clean and energetic space as possible. So by more means, if you want to play some music on your stereo, but um, I, if, if your Wi-Fi is in the room, I would certainly want to turn it off, um, take, take your phone out the room um, and, and clear, create as clean and energetic space as, as you can. That would be our recommendation. Okay, we, we're doing good. We've answered all the questions. Uh, we really thank you for, for joining us today. Uh, we, we hope that you've got something from it. Um, and uh, and, as, and now as excited as we are about this, the amazing possibilities that this technology offers. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming. And, and if we, unfortunately, we've not been able to say thank you individually, but really know that we are saying thank you individually. And I'm sending you all a virtual hug because that's how I feel about you all. And um, yeah, please join us again on our next webinar because you've been incredible and lots of lovely energy. And, and thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks again. Lots of love from us. Hope to see you soon. And hope to connect with you again yeah. soon. Keep in touch. Let us know how you get on with everything. Bye now. Bye now.